What shot do you give the Pelicans of bouncing back and winning this game? As much as I can't stand the Lakers, Skip, yeah. I don't give Pelicans much of a chance. I just think they've been thoroughly dominated by the Lakers all season long, 3-1 by an average of, what, 15 points a game? Yep. I mean, LeBron just looked at them like, like a piece of chicken and just yep. ate them all up. He did. I mean, he, he just went to the basket at will. And this is the time of the year where you're going to see a motivated LeBron who understands the moment. Now, if AD is able to play, I think they walk away with an easy win. But if not, it's going to be a problem. But from all the things I've heard, that AD will be out there. So I believe the Lakers get this in convincing fashion. Actually, you know, uh, free throws is going to be an issue. I actually, yeah. I actually have... The Lakers are going to shoot. They're going to shoot about 35 free throws tonight. Yeah. So if the Pelicans aren't making their threes and Zion doesn't have a big game trying to get AD in foul trouble, because that's the key. I think you got to go at AD. You got his lingering back issues. You got to find a way to get Zion on AD and attacking him. If you can get him in foul trouble, you got a chance. But I just think. Okay, that, so you think but, but on Sunday the Lakers shot 18 free throws to the Pelicans, yeah. 14. You think it's going to be way wider? I think it's going to be yeah, way okay, wider. Right. I, I just think the way they're going to attack the game because now it's a player situation to where I think the whistle is going to be a little tighter and LeBron is going to attack, AD is going to attack, and I just think with the, with the way the Lakers, their free throw disparity on the year, it just didn't even make sense with, with the rest of the league. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so, national televised game, I don't know. It sounds like you're saying that the refs will get the memo that the Lakers got to advance. Is that right? Uh, it's a memo. Uh, uh, here's the memo. memo. Here's guys, another memo. Uh, Lakers. Yeah. Lakers, yeah. Lakers yeah. are playing for the Make play this in. happen, Mr. <laughs> Lakers referee. Are Lakers are playing. Yeah. They got the memo. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when you beat a team on a, on a season three to one and your margin of victory is 26 points, you don't necessarily need the whistle, all right? What did we have, 50-plus odd points in the paint on them two nights ago? Well, it was 68 to 42 in the so, paint. So yeah. 68 to, yeah. yeah, 68 to 42. So we got 68. The, the rebounds were dead even. It was 39 all, but the points in the, the paint the is what matters. The points in the paint is yeah. key. So when you start talking about the whistles are going to loosen up for the Lakers, that may be true. There was, there, 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 there was opportunities for that to happen the other night where LeBron and company was going to the cup getting fouled, they just wasn't calling them. You know, it should have been many and ones. Yeah. But that didn't take place. Look, the Lakers know what's at stake. Like Paul said, I've been saying all, all week long for the last couple weeks, these veteran players like a LeBron James, they understand the moment. Okay, what, it, what, what, what is it that I got to do now? Despite the 35 minutes throughout the course of the season, logging my minutes, I've been playing all this, I played 70-plus games, Push all that in the back door. Yep. Now I'm here. This is a one and done situation. Yep. Well, it's, it's you can call it one and done. It's one, it's two and done. But at the end, for the Lakers, it's one and done because if you lose to the Pelicans, there is no guarantee that you're gonna beat the Kings or the Warriors. I don't care where you play them at. No guarantee. No guarantee. So yep. don't mess around with it. Don't play around with it. Let's take care of business and let's get ready to take on Denver. And I think that's the mentality. LeBron's gonna play. Okay, AD. AD may most likely AD's gonna play just based on it being spasms. He's had <clears throat> he's had more than 24 hours to recover. They've got things that'll help you heal very fast when it's important. And this is a very important situation for them. And I don't think that the New Orleans Pelicans to the Lakers are gonna be, it's not, it's not gonna be fair. Okay, it's probably gonna be one of those 125, 104 type games in the end. Mm. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I, it, by twenty. Pelicans favored by one. I don't care about that. That's that got something to do with them saying that the players is banged up right now. <laughs> that's all that is. That, that's all that they, is. They gotta and get, they gotta to get your it point, <clears throat> something is going on right now, and we just heard this just as the show opened. So I don't have time to get on the phone. I don't have time to do any research. I am off the top of my head. I just know I've been doing this for a long time, and something is up. Yeah, it's the Because iffy. they went from a one-point favorite, the Lakers, to a one-and-a-half-point underdog overnight in just a few hours. So that's a two-and-a-half-point betting favorite swing. Somebody got something from somewhere about somebody's banged up. Is oh. it AD or is it... And it would almost have to be AD is iffier than he was yesterday. 
And I don't know if Maybe somebody they tweeted something. Maybe got a hold of Sebastian Gumbo or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, they got to get this know. win. They, this is, well, obviously, they gotta get, yeah. They got to get this win because yeah. it gives them four days of rest. You know, you no want, if you got to see Denver, you need that four days of film, practice time, Denver rest. Denver game one would be Saturday at Yeah, Denver. so okay. you get that rest. If you, you get the win tonight. Do you travel so, from <clears throat> Do you travel from New Orleans straight to Denver? No, no you go home, get some rest. Yeah, you go, you go, yeah. we go home, get some rest. Let's rest AD. Let's let's get him three, four days of rest, get his back all the way back right. And, and I like what you said actually of uh, taking on Denver first in the first round because you got fresh legs instead of going through, you know, two or three playoff series, and then by the time you get to a conference finals, all everybody's right. banged up. Okay. We're down and all that. All right. We're going to get to all Because we above. are playing better yeah. basketball yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Then Denver's playing good, but we're playing better basketball. Okay. We're just playing better. I got you. <clears throat> I want to focus for a moment on the Pelicans because they're way better than they played on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And that coach is a really good basketball coach who's been doing this for a while there now, sometimes in the shadows. But I'm going to say this up front. I believe Willie Green is a little better coach than Darvin Ham is. And I think he will get his team ready to play much readier than they were on Sunday. I believe this is a very dangerous game for the visiting team. And I believe this one will have to be won down the stretch. Somebody for the Lakers is going to have to close this deal because this one is going to the wire. I completely disagree with you right here, right now. And I don't want to bet against the Lakers that I picked to win the West. But if you want to give me all those points, I may have to think about it because I don't <laughs> think it's going to be anything like that. I think this one is going to be scratch and claw to the bitter end. I wouldn't be shocked if it goes overtime. And the biggest point I thought about Sunday that got underreported was that the Pelicans had aircraft trouble in Golden State after they had beaten Golden State on Friday night. And they got stuck there for like 20 extra hours because they couldn't get a plane and it messed them up, and the Lakers got to New Orleans way before the Pelicans got home to New Orleans. Now, you, you, you can jump in. Does mm -hmm. it matter? Maybe not, but sometimes it no, just no. messes up your psyche and your mm -hmm. timing and your rhythm and your schedule, and you can't quite get back on, get, get ready for an afternoon game because yeah. it was an earlier game, obviously, because every game started at, what was it, 12.30 out here, right. so it was a 2.30 game there. I... I don't know. They just didn't look like they were ready to play. And LeBron especially was completely, utterly locked in, ready to play. The Lakers' margin of victory against the Pelicans is 26 points this year. So. Yeah, okay. So 26. do you think that's what's going to happen in this game? Because I don't. I, I, I do. I don't. Pretty close to it. I don't. If, if, it, if nothing's changed in the four games that they've or the three games that they've won, All right. what makes you think all of a sudden it's going to change okay. now? they got to implement Ingram back in. He's been out okay. for a while. All right, so he played 23 minutes the other day, and he <laughs> made six out of nine shots, mm -hmm. which is pretty good, but, pretty good, but they couldn't get him back in the flow. They, right. It was hard because he's been gone for a while. Right. What did they do without him on the road? They, they just came off a road trip in which they won four straight games. Yeah. They won at Phoenix by eight. They won at Portland, no big deal, by 10. Then they won at Sacramento by 12. And then they went to Golden State and won by five. Tell me that's not impressive. That's impressive okay. without Brandon Ingram. But yes. now you got to implement okay, that you in gotta, there. You got to so re-ingratiate him. You got yep. to okay. recalibrate okay. Okay. everything I got now. it. So it throws everything off. Because when you when you got a rhythm with a certain five and a certain rotation, it's going. But then you got an actual star player who's coming, who's an all-star on their roster. You got to readjust to him. So it kind of threw them off, I think. And that's why the Lakers was able to beat him down. So I don't know. You know, they're going to continue to recalibrate him into the lineup and try to get him going. They force feed him. He got nine shots, so you got to expect him to get more. He's going to want more as they ramp it up going into the playoffs, if they make the playoffs, because he's an important piece to them. Well, is he? Yeah, but okay. you don't want that this late in the season. Right. Just try to so get this game back. was won in the first half because LeBron James had 13 assists in the first half. I believe he had 11 in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. So you could even say it was one in the first quarter, but for sure in the first half because they won decisively in both quarters. So they're up 17 and a half. Then the second half was played even Steven all the way. And the Pelicans still made their threes. They made 15 to 11 for the Lakers. So they shot it pretty well. Yeah. They just got annihilated in the paint. Yeah. Valanchunas barely stayed in the game. 
He ended up playing seven minutes because Willie Green said he's got no chance against AD. I got to just see if we can small ball him to death. I think AD yeah. had what, four fouls anyway, right? Did he have, who did he have, four? Four fouls. Let's see. Personal fouls. I Hold think he had four. He did. He had yeah. four fouls. Okay. So he didn't even play. Well, he, he didn't, didn't play the last six minutes because he no, had No, but he didn't even basket. play some of yeah. the most of the third quarter, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So the point is, this team has played very well on the road, but it hasn't been a very good home team, which is right. weird. But but the Lakers, remember, they have the worst road record of any of the 10 playoff teams in the West. They're 19 and 21 on the road. It's They're, they're horrible on the road for a team of this caliber and this magnitude. And a lot of their road losses, though, came early in the season, though, yeah. too. The okay. Lakers were horrible on the road earlier in the year. All right. So the point is, can, can they... Can, can they just snap their fingers again and go in there and just punch them right in the mouth? Just like, no, we got this? Man, Pelicans are psychologically bruised. Okay. I mean, come on. If you got... Skip, if you get... If you see a boxing match and somebody knocks you out, do you want that again? You think twice about it. you like, I don't know if I like playing... want to fight him again. This is what the Lakers have been doing to the Pelicans. They, they didn't knock them out three times, and they psychologically just... They're not ready for the Lakers. And that might, that might be a better path to, to lose to the Lakers. And at least they don't have to see Denver if they lose and then say they come back and beat either Golden State or, or Sacramento. I like the Pelicans if they have to match up against OKC. They got a better shot. So I, I think it, it doesn't matter what they do tonight. Uh, as far as the Pelicans is concerned. Okay. I just think that Brandon Ingram, remember, once upon a time, a Laker, yeah. was traded what away for I? AD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you don't think he's spoiling to get even with them tonight? He's going to come out on a mission, and, and he can play. He can play at a yeah, high can, level. He, he can play for sure. Yeah. So uh, all these guys, Herbert Jones and, and Alvarado coming off the bench, I, I think they're going to play possessed tonight. And it's going to come down to who's going to close for you guys. And I'm still not sure who your closer is. Is it Austin Reeves? Is it LeBron? Is it I don't AD? think we're going to need a closer tonight, okay. to be honest with you. We'll see. All right. I, think they, I think they continue to, to, to the think, same beat moving forward. I think they close the game on two made free throws from LeBron up by one. Seriously? <laughs> do do, do you believe free, that? Two made free throws okay, by well, LeBron. Well, you just made the case that it's going to be a wipeout. No, 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 no. I said that. No, well, no, I think it, Paul I, said I, they, they've got him. They game, own him. I'm saying if it's a close game, LeBron is going to close it. Okay. Two made free throws. I would love to see that because I haven't seen that all year. <laughs> I, I saw it on Friday night at, Stop, at Memphis. Skip. I saw it at Memphis against the G League Memphis Grizzlies. I, I didn't even know one starter on that team. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you trying to put the, the pressure on LeBron? No, no, I think yeah. they're going to get to the line. You said who's going to close it. I think he's going to close oh, it tonight. He's going to six for he free know, throw the other yeah, night. He know, he yeah, know he's going to know it's at stake. Yeah. He's going to need these. He's, he's going to close this out. He's going to close this out. This year. He was six of yeah. six the other night, Skip, yeah. from the line. Yeah, in a not close game, right? Is that what you're talking but about? But it doesn't matter. He still was yeah. six for six. Hey, you're, you're acting like that's a feat? Yes, for him <laughs> For him, that's a feat? Yeah. Six for six is a feat, Skip, for him. All right. I just believe that somebody must be hurt somehow. I don't know if, if look, if AD can't go tonight, they're not going to win this game. I, if that's what's happening right now. No, I think they still win if AD. I think really? They still win. Yeah. yeah I no, think if AD, win. Oh, AD. You guys have AD, no respect no, no, for the no, Pelicans. No. If AD don't play tonight, they can't, they not winning tonight. They're going to, they, they not going to have an answer for Zion Williams, who's, who's just a, Hey, yo, just put LeBron on him again. No, no, he's too strong for LeBron at this point. Come but but on, LeBron did a great LeBron, job on LeBron him. LeBron did the same yeah. thing in the um, play-in yeah. game, and then not the play-in game. Not no, be, you the, know how uh, hard it is to beat the, the, team. the tournament game. You know yeah. How hard it is to beat a team back to back on their home floor. Well, that's it's something that's about my that. point. Ah, that's it's what something I've been about saying. that. But if it, yeah. AD doesn't play, I don't got the Lakers winning. Okay. AD plays, I think they win. And you, you're saying with no AD, they win? They still win. God, you, you think, uh, I, could, I could probably tell you there's going to be no AD, no LeBron, and no Austin Reeves, and you'd say, oh, we're still going to win. No, I wouldn't say that, but, I, yeah. but as long as you got LeBron James, <laughs> you got a fighting chance, man. Okay, well, I agree with that. AD is the key to this team, though. We yeah, but long term. No, right now. They go as AD goes. You know this, because you don't know which AD you're going to get night in and night out. We know what to expect from LeBron. Hopefully the role players can fill their roles and do what they're supposed to, but when AD comes with it and act like he's the best player in the league, which on some nights he shows and looks like, 
then they're un they're unbeatable. Yeah, so, I understand so that, but I think if he, for some reason, Paul, he does not go. If he doesn't go tonight, then you got the other guys, the the, the Ruiz, the Austin Reeveses, the D'Lo's. If he don't go tonight, they're gonna need Austin Larry Bird Reeves. <laughs> they're gonna need. Of course, they're gonna need D'Lo. And those guys, and, 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 and they have to step up <laughs> and fill that void. Okay, I got it. And fill that void. That 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 you know that's. That's not going to happen, though. Okay, so AD, the, the other day at New Orleans, goes 13 of 17, scores 30 points, and has 11 boards, and he was, he, he, he beat up on Valanciunas so, so badly so early that they just yeah. yanked him and just said, you can't play the rest of the game. That's yeah. how bad that was. That was just shamefully bad. Yeah, they need that. That's what I'm saying. Of course we need it, but if we don't have it, I still think that we can <laughs> win on. the game. No, no, no. AD is the key that the Lakers doing anything, making the playoffs, going deep in the playoffs, any chance at all is going to be on So AD. you don't think LeBron can carry them past the Pelicans with the help of the others? Not today. Not today. With no AD, back-to-back -back wins in New Orleans, I just see a motivated... There's nobody that's going to be able to stop Zion on a, on, on a night like this. They know... If they need this game, too, and Zion know, hey, LeBron was guarding me last game, I'm, that's not going to happen again. Yeah, because this is not Zion gonna happen again. went 4 of 13. Yeah, this is not going to happen. Yeah, everything was in the paint. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he do. Yeah, that, but but I, I got my money on LeBron. Okay, so he had LeBron banging on him, and he had AD lurking, and Zion goes about 6'5", maybe, mm -hmm. and and when, he's, when he gets banged on, and then he's got to go up over height, he, he gets equalized. I mean, that's right? actually a good strategy, putting LeBron mm -hmm. on, on Zion, because more often times than not, LeBron is not going to get caught for those cheap fouls. You, you know what I'm saying? Whereas when somebody else is guarding him, he's able to impose that's his true. will that's for a good Zion. Point. You know, so... Plus, LeBron's one of the few men in the league who's yeah. man enough to bang with right, strong right. enough just to hold his ground. So they're going to let a lot of, you know, bump... Uh, holding and grabbing and hard shoulders to the chest go a little more than than normal when you got LeBron. When you got two superstars like that, especially LeBron, you know they're not gonna call those fouls. So that's actually really a good strategy to put them on Zion, who who likes to impose his will. Can't have LeBron foul out. No, he's not no, gonna he foul won't. out. They won't. Yeah, that will not ever give, happen. They don't give him two fouls. <laughs> they LeBron, don't. LeBron, can't LeBron can't have LeBron foul out. I can't remember the last time Bron fouled out. I think it was when I was playing. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I've never, I've like, never I'm known serious. him to follow up. I, I mean, I'm sure him. he has, but I've never known him La to follow up. Last time I remember, we when we played him in the playoffs, 2010. That's the last time he fouled hey, out. Hey, man, MJ didn't foul out either. So what? <laughs> he ain't I mean, out. Come on. Wait, did, out did you foul years. out, LeBron? We both, we both actually fouled out. Oh, you did? Game. Yeah, <laughs> it was a playoff oh, game. So was it wasn't game. that shootout game. No, it wasn't the shootout game. Okay. Uh, but that 14 years ago, the last time I can remember, LeBron fouled out a game. We got to keep him on the court. How many of those yeah. fouls did you draw? I probably drew about three or four of them. Okay. All you right. was hacking him up. No, I was... I, yeah, I was hacking him. He was hacking me. <laughs> and finally, this brings us to the X Factor tonight. Keyshawn's favorite player, D'Lo, as in D'Angelo Russell, who made five out of ten threes on yeah, give Sunday. Give me that again. Mm. Give me six of ten. Are you going to get that again? Give me six of ten. Okay, six you of ten. You might. Okay. You might get that from me. What's your prediction? I think, it, look, I think he knows right now, based on the way he played in the playoffs last year, yeah. that this is this is a start. This is a new year. It's the start of the playoffs, even though it's the play in. Yeah. We we are expecting him to, to start where he finished. Yeah. That's what we're expecting. So give me six of ten. Okay. I'm going to warn you. C.J. McCollum has just been on one yeah. lately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. He made four out of nine threes. He's capable of going eight out of 12. Yeah. Highly capable. Mm -hmm. And Trey Murphy the third, trust me, he's highly capable in that building of going better than three well, of we six. We need to counsel them out between okay, you're Austin to Reeves and, and D. That, that, that that C.J. McCollum is the key to that team, truthfully. I think, like, when he plays well... He's so smooth. Like, yeah, when he has when he plays when he's shooting lights out with the combination of him and, uh, and Zion Williams... Uh, mm. They're tough to beat. I mean, we seeing the side of CJ. You know, he was good in Portland, but 
He's really taking the lead. He on has. The team. I agree. I, I like what he's doing for this ball club. And yet, I wonder whatever happened to that guy, LeBron James, from three? Because remember that one game is just a couple of weeks back. He made nine out of ten, yeah. and ever since, I don't know. He hung on to his forty percent for the year. <laughs> he did. He hung on to it, but he was zero for two on Sunday. There's from no three. need to shoot threes when oh, you're up by thirty. Oh, that's how. No, but I actually like threes? him attacking the basket. Yeah. So do I. You I can't agree. stop me. You I'm know, attacking the basket. Yeah. I can get my threes because I can get an and one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you going to give it that? Well, do you think we'll get one of these tonight? Huh? For the play-in game? Yeah. He celebrates play-ins. No, no, no. We can't do that for the play-in. No. Why not? We're going to have to wait. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. If he, he, wait, 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 hold on. No, he celebrated no. Memphis the other night. He did. Oh, he Memphis celebrated game. at the end of the game. He's going crazy. He's dumped. Oh, he, he, stole, he stole on the fast break. They was trying to push the ball up the court. He jumped in front of the dude, stole it. It did like a little, I don't know what it was, reverse dunk. Yeah, and yeah. Ja was over there, so he ran up to Ja. Him and Ja, here, go right here, man. Yeah, here we Him go. and Ja. Yeah. Look at that, a contest around. Around. That would have won the slam dunk right and there. See, he talking about that would have won the <laughs> slam dunk contest. LeBron got about one foot off the ground. He oh, come stop, on. Stop, man. Oh, that's right. He was out of gas at the end oh. of the game. He played 41 minutes. <laughs> oh, God. 41 Look minutes. Look how high he played. jumped, Paul. He talking about this. He could have been. Yeah. He could have done this in the slam dunk oh. contest. No, this is crazy, though. Look, Look at this. He's still doing he, that dunk. Hey, that's pretty that's good. good. That's a pretty good that. dunk. He, he barely was able to do that. Barely? Yes. I, boy, I thought he did it easy. Oh, God, stop Look at it. it. Backtrack. Right no, it was easy, but it. it had no lift to it, is all I'm saying. Like, oh, yeah, like he usually yeah. have. No lift to that. He didn't need to lift. He just did it casually. And he said he's celebrating just because him and Ja is jawing back and forth. No, he was celebrating. Nah, ja, ja gave him some props, it looked like. Yeah. He, he, was, he was proud of himself for beating the Memphis Grizzlies featuring, featuring Scotty Pippen Jr. Way to go. LeBron fouled out in his 21 years Junior. eight times. So just LeBron so you know. LeBron fouled out Ooh. eight times in 20. Damn. Okay. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.